Hello, Pisces. Welcome to High Priestess Healing Tarot, where you are the High Priestess, baby. Say it, Pisces. I trust patterns over promises. We got Reiki 1 and 2 certification course starting tonight. Last chance to register at the first link in the pinned comment below. I can't wait to see you guys. Thank you, spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Please help me in pulling insights for the High Priestess Collective. Highest timelines, highest messages for the High Priestess Collective. We got ch ch, -ch change in. All right, what is this change, spirit? Wow, someone has grown into themselves. Wow, community. Oh my God, that's how I say wow to Neptune. Um, bottom of the deck is toil and labor. So there's some kind of change that is on the horizon or in the forecast for you as a result of some kind of maturation process that you have likely facilitated for yourself moving towards more harmony. Uh, it looks like spirituality is at the base of this change. Some of you are in the midst of a move moving, right? This car is packed with furniture. Um, and if it's not a literal 3D change for you, it looks like you are in the car ready to go. There's like the next level is available to you based on the work that you've put in. This next level, mature woman. So if we think about maturation, it is over time, the development of skills and regulation of the self. Because this is tied to spirituality and the divine feminine, this looks like a spiritual shift. Um, you might be experiencing rumblings of a breakthrough around how you interact with, perceive, and feel the vibrations of others in your community. 9, 10, 11, 12 breaks down to 3. It is divine feminine. This breaks down to 3, and 3 is the empress. So this has to do with your femininity. Um, the part, Even if you're a masculine watching, the feminine parts of you are your spidey senses, right? That's what picks up intuition, patterns, um, little things that you can't exactly explain where you're like, but my insides are saying no. My insides are saying, mm -mm. my insides are saying go this way. Trust any sudden, um, if you get a ping when you're driving today, Pisces, that's like, for some reason I'm being, uh, for some reason I, I feel like I should take this other route or I should just make a right at this light or I should get off the highway here. Trust that. Just trust that. Not to scare. If there is a, you know what else for a group of you here, it looks like there's going to be a, ch or there is starting to become a change in the people that you surround yourself with. Foofy woofy, for those who have been like seeking, praying for, calling on tribe, and you just feel like it just hasn't happened yet, it looks like this is what's changing for you, um, or you are actually moving, and you will be exposed to new people, new places, new faces. Um, your ego might be like, no, 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 uh, because familiarity is the language of the ego. Even if new is healthy or new is beneficial or new is joyful, the ego might still be like, no, 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 no. I, I don't know if I said this to you guys. I had intrusive thoughts at the Alanis Morissette concert. Isn't that wild? My intrusive thoughts were, what if the cats get out and die? And I was like, oh my God, thank you ego for trying to protect me. I know we're doing something outside the comfort zone and we are so many miles away from the cats, but they are fine. They're gonna be fine. They are taking a cat nap and they're going to want cat nip when we get back. Eventually those intrusive thoughts like subsided, just staring into Joan Jett's eyes and waiting for Alanis Morissette to come on. Um, if you are experiencing any kind of rumblings of the ego, resistance, um, even like thoughts of like, maybe we shouldn't do this anymore. Maybe we should turn back. That's a sign that you're you're stepping outside the comfort zone. Nerves, fear, can, like, am I going crazy? Should I stop doing this? It means you're stepping outside the comfort zone. Give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself a pat on the back for that. All right, let's see. Tell me more about this change. <gasps> the moon. We got the full moon on Sunday. This full moon is going to be interesting because it's going to look full Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Huh. You can register for the full moon ceremony at the link in the pinned comment below underneath the Reiki link. This full moon might signify, signi this full moon might actually signify the official start or it looks like official end and start date for something for you. 
that's leading towards more harmony. Six, six, progress forward, change, progress forward, car moving forward, 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 Pisces. Don't turn back. Don't even look back at it right now. I'm just teasing. Look back at it always. Okay. Um, with a cute little juicy peach here. Holy shit. This is a full buck moon. That's so funny. I don't know if you could see it. Can you see this? She's got antlers, right? And this this full moon is the full buck. Nuck if you. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I can't. Focus. Running, running, running. If you feel as though there has been no change, no signals of change, can't imagine that being true, but if you're in if you're in like a stagnant period or you're like I feel the change within me, I don't see it outside of me. This full moon is going to be an opportunity for you to make a formal request to the moon, to your spirit guides, to the universe, to God. Let them know, I am prepared for this change. I'm prepared for the growth. They call it the buck moon because this is the time of year in the northern hemisphere where the deer, who are males, grow their antlers. Signaling they're going from that child adolescent stage of deerhood i don't know the animal terms um to adulthood mature woman also so you are i love when the cards card like that you really are stepping into this next maturation process it's a maturing of it looks like again intuition divine feminine energy trusting where you're led for those of you who have been implementing this process of i'm making more intuitively informed decisions versus 3d fear-based decisions you can make 3d decisions that aren't fear-based too right like whatever you got but this looks like moving away from letting fear and scarcity dictate what you do and don't do and this is this could have taken some of you two full years of shedding skin to feel confident or at least assured that this is the way to go i this is this is very nice bottom of the deck is strength that she's using her third eye to tame the beast tame the fears okay tell me about the mature woman here pisces kiss me on the love button smooch that like button babe oh the gardener look i said at two years for some of you and now we have card number 20 which is judgment um you are the sun you are the rain you have truly watered your garden of intuition your garden of harmony your garden of this is what i want to where my focus goes what is it yeah where my focus goes, energy flows. This is someone who's choosing to take advantage of the days when it rains and take advantage of the days when it's sunny. And they continue to water their garden, prioritize their growth. That means that rain, shine, moon, shine, <laughs> no matter what is going on, you have consistently chosen self, chosen your spiritual path, chosen your emotional healing. Judgment call after judgment call. That doesn't mean it's easy. There's a skeleton here, so it does signify some kind of death has had to take place in the personality. You might see that in the 3D by not being surrounded by the same people you used to be surrounded by. Um, this always looks like pothos to me, pothos plant, which pothos can, they obviously can grow in the sun, but they don't need direct sunlight. Pisces, I feel like some of you may have been underestimated with how little... I'm using an expression, but like, it looks like how little direct sunlight you needed because the light was coming from within. So moving through dark periods or a dark period, you still have grown a garden. That might be taking people for a fucking ride. Let's go a little deeper on that juice. Tell me about this unexpected growth. For Pisces. That's how it was supposed to be. You found equilibrium. I'm hearing Rihanna, love in a hopeless place. You found equilibrium despite rain, despite storms, despite darkness, and you really optimized the sunshine when you could. Um, I think these are poppies too, and poppies, opiates, put you to sleep. I'm get like, I think people have slept on 
they've slept on the growth. <laughs> um, but your equilibrium is speaking for itself. You're able to, you're also able to look back at the old reflection of you and be proud of where you came from. Even if there's moments of cringe or you're stepping into a uh, cringe just means that you've grown. You know, when you have cringe moments of past self, that means you've, you've grown. You can still be proud of the cringe. Um, This equilibrium, though, I think people slept on it. They didn't see it coming. Or you've been doing this in silence for some time, two years, six months, some kind of, maybe 11 months. There's a period of time here where people slept on this. They didn't see it coming. Maybe you were shacked up or you are shacked up. Anything else on this growth in the dark, this unexpected growth? smash that love button nine of cups so if you're not here yet pisces take this as an invitation of um keep watering that garden keep prioritizing you you're doing something right you're making judgment calls with what you've got loving is what i got this is especially true for people who are like i'm prioritizing what lights me up simple joys simple pleasures um, this could also be for people who, if you made some kind of significant career change or you are in the process of that career change, there's like divine justice orchestration in the background supporting all of the ways in which you water your garden. Watering the garden is like nurturing all of the parts of yourself, the shadow and the light, and finding personal fulfillment by doing that. Either you are doing that or this is like coming up for you. Claim that juice, Magoose. Tell me about this intuitive change, this change in the darkness, this maturation. Ooh, three of cups in reverse. I did not see that coming. Okay, so the three of cups here, which is interesting because we have the big dipper. So it's constellation in the stars and the skies. Change, three of cups in reverse. This is tribe in reverse is spilling out. Some of you may have had to, or you are in the process of doing this now, um, reconfigure who in your inner circle has access to, to simply knowing about this change you're going through. Um, some of you have had to disconnect from people that either gossip or are not as supportive of you as you would prefer with eight of cups at the bottom, moving towards the sunshine away from what no longer serves you. So this change of your divine feminine guidance and intuition, it may have been kind of like, there may have been a catalyst because of the lack of support you were receiving for this level of maturation or the process. There's something about your process, it may be triggering, that's okay, but it may be triggering um, people who are not actively changing. And the thing is, most humans, even if we have con higher levels of consciousness and, and we are awakened to what the brain does, we will still have bursts of ego. I know what my brain's doing, but I, my ego, my fear still came up at the concert. And it's just, a, that's a default setting mode, right? A factory setting mode of like, we're doing something so outside of our norm. I want you to go back to what we know, even though... I was so happy and safe at Alanis Morissette, Joan Jett. When we see others change around us and we are not on a path of change and transformation or a path of introspection, right? <clears throat> These spirals signify the journey inward. You may have had to release three people who are not doing this or you are in the process of releasing three people who are not doing this. And if it's not three people, it could just be a group, a community, old friends, and it's going to be replaced with an equal vibration. That's not easy. It can be emotional. Trust what you're doing, though. Anything else with this change? Wow. Trust what you're doing, though. Ace of Pentacles, baby. Brand new beginning in the 3D. This reading feels like a testament of like Joe Dispenza's work. It's this whole reading is giving when you do the energetic, emotional and mental changes and then start making changes with people, boundaries, lifestyle, habits outside of you. 
that's when the outside world starts to change and you start calling in things that are more aligned with this maturation of the garden, this maturation of the intuition, this recognition of growth and joy in the simple pleasures in life on your own. Ugh. It's really not for the faint of heart. It just is what it is. I don't have a I don't have anything else to say about that. <clears throat> anything on this ace of pentacles for Pisces? Uh, when you wish upon a star? Oh, I love it. When you wish upon a star, kid. So we got the moon and the star out here. Don't stop what you're doing, Pisces. We always say it's something it's been nonstop. Something's coming in. A page of pentacles, an ace of pentacles, a ten of pentacles. Something is coming in. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the star card is healing and wish fulfillment. So this is also like that energetic shift that you take, your emotional shift and focus brings this opportunity, offer a new beginning in. It's already grown roots though. Your antlers and your pentacle already show signs of growth. Tell me more about the star ace of pentacles. This is something that you really want. If you haven't yet wished, if there's a very specific wish, specific, make it on this full moon. A very specific wish. Oh, Pisces. Drop it in the comments. Drop it in the live chat. I am the high priestess some of you know that as you are doing this change that others are going to drop off and as these people drop off it might be both sad there might be grief and you have awareness that that's a sign that the new life is here for you or it's like just around the corner for you this is a this is intuitively living there's like no other way to say this it's intuitively living Man, this is, that's promising. Oh my God, guess the bottom of the deck, another ace. Ace of cups over her heart, you see that? <sighs> Anyone and anything you lose during your change, you will get back in a new form of higher value. Not to like, you know, not to scale people's value, but... It is what it is. It's going to match your frequency. A better match here. If you've been hesitant to let these people go, Pisces, this is your green light. Go. Let them go. And let yourself go. Wherever this is going, this change, let yourself go. The thing is with gardening, that takes time. Toil and labor also takes time. So if you're over here, this is what's coming. But if you've already put in the time, Pisces, let these energies just fall off you, you probably don't even need to have a conversation or do anything about this this looks like a, a natural aging out process mm. tell me about this community smash that love button for me kid too many cards too many cards too many cards all right Okay, I cannot use this card. Um, no, I cannot. It's, <laughs> I love these cards, but some of them are so inappropriate. <laughs> okay. Um, the card that's inappropriate basically is um, saying don't give a fuck. That's basically what it's saying. Okay, the coffee. Well, coffee is a morning drink. It's a new beginning. We have the triple moon on the mug. Triple moon tour. Alanis Morissette. Shout out. Okay. Triple moon is also high priestess. Do you know? Is this is this like... Sh have you had a feeling that something is coming in? And it's a new beginning with people or a new place. It's, it's, a, it's people though. It's not just like one human. Three of cups in reverse is like gossipy not supportive speaks out of both sides of their mouth community the coffee is like oh this new community this new group this new workplace this new team that you're on this new friendship circle 
the coffee gives you life, gives you energy. It's also in the morning, so it's beginning. We have a lot of, um, we have Neptune symbolism back here too. Oh shit. With Neptune in retrograde, you might, and the high priestess out here, you might be having an awakening to who really has you like that. You know what I'm saying? Like who really has your back. Oof. I think that really is that. Can I just get a little confirmation on that that Neptunian reveal with the Three of Cups? Mm. Pay attention to who's happy for you when you are happy for yourself. Pay attention to who's happy for you when you are happy for yourself. Sometimes, of course, in life, if, if we're grieving, we're going through a hard time, it might be hard to extend joy or celebration for someone else in an outward way. But you'll know in your heart, you'll be like, I I'm still happy for them, even if I can't, if I can't show up um, for that celebration party in my in the best way possible, but I still want the best for that person. That's one thing. There's there are sometimes people who just like the old way of who you were. And that's not your problem. That's their own grief that they have to go through. Pay attention to who's happy for you when you're happy for yourself. Those are your people. And those are people who understand the value of the work it takes to be happy for yourself in something you've created by yourself. Nine, nine, nine. Major cycle ending. And this cycle ending maybe had to be like sh you showing you, I, I got me like this. Even if others don't have my back, I got me like this. Okay, that feels correct. Um, anything else with this community coffee, this fresh start, this kickstart, revitalization. It's also being like revealed. Um, your psychic abilities or your ability to to correctly anticipate changes coming for you down the line um there's something cooking here that it's going to arrive and you're going to be like this is this is the change i was anticipating i felt it in the, in the ethers i felt it in my spidey senses that'll be different for everybody but it's going to show up in your 3d it's going to be healing for you but it's also a, a result of the healing that you did community coffee One more. Okay, too many, and I feel like you're not listening to me. Something about having fun and being like childlike, playful, um, being like your most authentic self, your most vulnerable self, that childlike awe, the childlike wonder that you have. Let's go to this deck. Can I, can you clarify the, the coffee and the reveal? Page of Cups, when pigs fly, babe. Um, this is going to feel magical. This is going to fill that cup up again. Especially if you've been like super in your head and maybe a little isolated. This is going to break you out of some kind of isolation, some kind of um, maybe like mental difficulty. Or for those of you who have trust issues with others, this new wave, the healing that you've done or you are doing, this significant change, releasing people who are not supportive of you, and then engaging with people who value this type of energy, happy for you when you're happy for you. It's actually going to heal some kind of, it looks like a trust issue on the table. That's 100% it, Four of Wands. You're going to be able to be a little bit more expressive, a little bit more free, show up a little bit more wild. Some of you might even be like changing how you dress. The changing of the wardrobe or the changing of how your home looks, the aesthetic is often an indicator that there's been an emotional, mental, energetic change within. So when you're external, when you get that hit to start changing your external, your hair, your makeup, how you show up and express yourself in clothing, your home aesthetic, that usually signifies there's been a significant change on the underground. Um, what can Pisces expect with this? Very healing. I like this. This is here for you, but it is this change. Both of these cards, not a ten of wands and the, the change here, it is signaling like 
there has to be a leaving of old behind. Chariot also signaling another car card. Some of you kind of, whoever is actually physically relocating, I kind of think this is a beautiful thing for you. The, the equivalent is like, um, you know, I used to compare my ayahuasca retreat to rehab. Like my, my, an aunt of mine had to go away to rehab a few times. And the thing is, when you go away to rehab, they rehabilitate. That's the goal, right? You get yourself clean. You fix this garden up. You mature. You come into yourself. You, you find joy in healing self, in nurturing and repairing self. But if you come back to the same environment, it's the same people, it's the same dysfunction. The dysfunction is embedded in the, the family system, the social system, whatever it is. And people relapse. They fall off the wagon. But when you physically move after a rehabilitation, Pisces, after the rehabilitation, or maybe during, you're in a brand new environment. It's a brand new, it's a blank canvas for you. There is something here about the people who are physically relocating. This is optimal and this was like the right move to make. Or if you're considering a move, this is the right move to make. I cannot emphasize that enough. Enough. Just because you heal does not mean the people around you are healing. Just because you change does not mean the people around you are changing, right? And the human mind does not really want change. <laughs> so if you're feeling like you changed for the better and there are some people who just cannot be happy for you, that's their ego operating correctly, right? Your maturation of the human experience and the spiritual experience will allow you to accept that without resentment. Take your time <laughs> and like detach with love. To detach with love is to also love yourself. This is an end to a cycle for you, Pisces. A major end to a, a big cycle. Smash that love button, babe. Yeah, King of Cups, the Empress when we split. It's a lot of emotional maturation here. Regulating the system, not popping off, um, reflecting on triggers versus outsourcing your trigger to someone else. This is a lot of maturity. A lot of maturity. And if you're not here yet, this is spirit inviting you, babe. What's next for Pisces? Something you don't see coming. Okay, so you are going to either you are over something already. Or you got to the point where you're like, I don't have it in me to care about this anymore. I just got to focus on this process. Looks like something comes in. That's that Ace of Cups while you're focusing on you. Focusing on, you know what's wild? That Three of Cups in reverse. I always equate that Three of Cups card to these three cups here. Right? But her shirt says over it and she's looking at those three cups apathetically. So this looks like in the recognition of this group of people or person that's around you, that might not be as down for you as you are for them, or they're just not able to change with you, or they're not able to accept the change. Whatever this is, something else comes in. And it does look like you don't see it coming. It also might be a period of time when you're disconnected. <gasps> disconnected meaning like you're not on your phone. The moon again. What is going on with this full moon? This full moon looks like it's gonna be a catalyst. Um, and I also think we're in Mercury sh retrograde shadow right now. So if you're experiencing any technology travel glitches, just not just like roll it off the back, any communication issues, um, it is what it is. The past circling back, you already know what to do, right? But this full moon is going to be an entry point. If you have not already started this change, this full moon is your opportunity. And if you've not already made a specific wish, maybe you have been moving through this change for a while and this is an ongoing process, they want you to get specific about a wish here. One more. And there's Neptune. 
They want you to look at what comes in from an alternative perspective, the alternative perspective that you've nurtured from your ongoing gardening, changing, healing process. You might not have been able to appreciate this new set of people or this new opportunity had you not changed your perspective on what's important. Holy goodness. Pisces, Pisces, and cups, more water. All this is water, 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 water. So there's been a major upheaval in the emotional space, which of course results in an uptick in your intuition. Bottom of the deck, mm, queen of swords, boundary baby. Give yourself credit for the boundaries you've already set. Offer yourself nurturing encouragement for all the boundaries you are reinforcing, Pisces. Get clear on a wish that you want in your new vibration. And if there's anything left dinging around that head that's causing stress or fear about connecting with others, you can make an offering to the moon. Like, I'm going to offer up this worry. Um, I'm having a hard time trusting people. Can you take this from me and allow me to see clearly or remove anyone that I'm not seeing clearly. You can like, you can request that offer, request that process. Anything else for this full moon? I'm just going off the beaten path now. Kiss me on the, oh my God, justice again. Justice is being restored with this full moon. And two 11s, 11, 11 make a wish. 11, 11 is that four of wands card, manifestation energy. You know, Pisces, this is giving like, on the other side of this full moon, there's going to be a significant equilibrium hit for people. So if you think that things have been bumpy or rocky or wild, or if people haven't been treating you fair, or you're getting wind of people that are not necessarily supportive of you, even if you don't care, right? You might be like, I don't give a shit. But getting wind of it can still bring up disappointment because you're human with emotions. That's okay. Um, there is equilibrium and justice about to be restored for you post full moon chariot success victory keep moving forward you're allowed to you can go your own way for real do things your way you don't need to look like anybody else you don't need to drive the you don't need to drive this chariot the same way as everybody else no shirt no shoes no problem do what you got to do this is a major spiritual move for you trust your intuition and if you're like i'm not sure about my intuition right now just keep a little intuition notepad on your phone. When you think you're getting an intuitive ping, jot it down in that intuitive notebook, notepad. And it will, it'll come back again in another subtle way. And you'll be able to track, oh yeah, this was an intuitive ping. I have been getting this for some time now. It's just not as loud as my anxiety. Bottom of the deck is Knight of Cups. There's an offer that's coming in for you. That's going to be, uh, there's like plan behind it. There's like thoughtfulness behind this thing that comes in for you. The more specific you can get around what it is that you want to experience when you're in a good mood, when you're gr grateful after a meditation, after a bath, cl climaxing, like whatever you got to do. When you are in a high vibe mood, make this specific wish. Because this offer that's coming in is supposed to fill your cup. And the Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, now there's a progression here. So it's also giving like, it's going to start small and build. Allow yourself to make space for the build of this beautiful, fulfilling offer that's coming in. That's going to take you into this new realm, new life, new way. Let the old go. And when we let that old go, there's so much more space for this beauty to manifest here. Can I get a little angel message? Oh my God, dear, with the freaking buck moon. Slow down, give yourself grace. Card number four, stability, security, safety. I love this strong foundation. Um, be gentle with you. You're about to grow some antlers, babe. Um, get this full moon. Great opportunity to celebrate your growth and celebrate what it is that you want. All right. 
All right, Pisces, hold my hands. Thank you for being here with me. I'm sending you so much Reiki love and healing. Take a big deep breath in through the nose. Holding your breath at the top for three, two, one. Slowly releasing through the mouth, expressing gratitude for the peace you are in in this very moment. And if you're feeling better in this moment and safe, make a little wish. And affirm, I am the high priestess. Yes, you are Pisces.